In this video, we are discussing Pig Latin Basics. So let us go for more discussion on it. So how to write code in Pig Latin? So we have made one list of uh, different rules, do's and don'ts so that you can feel better to writing codes in Pig Latin. The first one is that we will use the grand shell to write Pig Latin codes. In the grand shell, we need to follow some rules to write Pig Latin codes. So we are supposed to go through some rules right now. So Pig Latin syntax will work with relations and they include expressions and also schema. So they can use different kinds of expressions and schema in our Pig Latin syntax. So we can use different operators of Pig Latin to complete our task and this list of operators and operations we will be discussing next. And except for the load and store operation, the Pig Latin takes relation as input and returns another relation as output. So only in case of load and store, these two command executions, it will take the relation one in, as input and it produces or it outputs relations as output. So until the dump operator is not used, any MapReduce task will be executed. So I require the dump operator to get executed. Next one is that uh, we should use the semicolon after each line of code in pig. So the semicolon giving is mandatory at the each and every line of the pig statements. Now data types in pig Latin. So what are the different data types and the respective sizes we will be discussing here. So given below the table describes some of the pig Latin data types. So here we are having this int and it is signed 32 bit integer. We are having long signed 64 bit integer. We are having float signed 32 bit floating point number. The double that is a signed 64 bit floating point number. That means it is occupying 4 bytes, it is occupying 8 bytes in the memory. Car array, character array or string. We are having the date time represents date and time. We are having boolean, boolean value will be true or false as usual. We are having the byte array that is a, a byte array. So in this way, we are having multiple different data types are there and the respective descriptions we have provided. Complex data types in Pig Latin. So the given below the table describes some of the complex Pig Latin data types. The first one is a tuple. A tuple that means a ordered set of fields. So fields will be containing values. Ordered set of fields will be known one as a tuple. Bag. A bag means a collection of tuples. We are having this map. Map means a set of key value pairs. Next, relational operations in Pig Latin. So we were discussing that what are the relational operations. So these are the relational operations are there. So the following table describes the relational operators on Pig Latin. The first one is the load. So load data from HDFS or local disk. We are having the store, save data to HDFS or onto the local disk. We are having the filter, remove unwanted rows, distinct, remove duplicate rows. We are having for each comma generate in that case to generate data transformations based on the columns of data. So that for that we will be using for each and generate. We are having the stream transforms relations with external program. So that is a stream. We are having the dump print data for a relation. So dump is one of the respective operators. So now let us go for relational operators in Pig Latin. We are going for the join to join two or more relations. We are having co-group. So group the data in two or more relations. So that is our co-group. We are having the operator that is our group to group the data in a single relation. And then we are having cross. There is a cross product between the tables. We are having order arrange relation in the shorted order. We are having the limit to get the limited number of tuples, not all the tuples we are going to get the limited number of tuples. Union combines multiple relations into one and then we are having the split, split one relation to multiple relations. So union we are having that is to get uh, to combine multiple relations to one but here in case of split one relation to multiple relations. We are having the describe that is a describe the schema of a relation. So these are the different relational operators which will be available in our Pig Latin and in this way we are concluding 
the pig latin basics in this video thanks for watching this video